Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? My name is Fedor. Today, we will continue talking about emotions, desires and needs. But in this video, we're going to cover it from a different side, rather. We're going to uh, talk about like individual emotions, like specific emotions. Like, I feel bad, I feel sad, I feel, I don't know, good, um, I'm happy, I'm sleepy, and that kind of stuff. So, let's get to them right now. So let's start with these four ones when we have Ya as a subject. The first one is, <coughs> excuse me, Ya Shaslev, it's for guys, and Ya Shasliva for ladies. And it means I am happy. So Ya Shaslev or Ya Shasliva is I'm happy. So the way we say this word is we combine uh, these two uh, letters, these two sounds, into one sound, which is going to be sh, sh, and then we do not pronounce the letter t. So the letter t is silent. We don't say счастлива or счастлив. We just say счастлив, счастлив. So it's going to be like this: счастлив, something like that. Счастлив, счастлив. That's I'm happy. The second one is Ya Ustal for guys and Ya Ustala for ladies. And it, uh, it means I am tired. But the word Ustal is a verb. So it's like I got tired. It's, uh, it's more of, of that kind of translation. But if you would translate it to English, it would mean I am tired. Okay? The third one is Ya Goladin or Ya Galadna. So if you are uh, a lady or you're talking about a lady, uh, a woman, I guess, then you just replace yen with na. So it doesn't add to the word, it just replaces yen with na. And it means I am hungry. I'm hungry. Ya golodin or ya galadna. But in Russian, we don't really say ya golodin when it comes to ya gal uh, when it comes to I'm hungry. We say more uh, ya хочу есть. It's like, I want to eat. That's more common, that's more common for Russian uh, conversation to have uh, that kind of phrase instead of, instead of, okay? The fourth one and the final one on this list is or Again, we just replace with aya for the feminine form. And it means I am sleepy. Once again, in Russian, we are most likely to say Я хочу спать. Я хочу спать would be more common than Я сонный or Я сонная. But just because this is a uh, emotions, uh, feelings kind of topic, I'm gonna use Я сонный or Я сонная. That's it for this list. So, я счастлив, I'm happy, я устал, or я устала, I'm tired, я голоден, or я голодна, I'm hungry, я сонный, or я сонная, I'm sleepy, okay? Next one is a uh, list with where the subject is мне, and мне is going to be like to me, to me. So, мне хорошо, хорошо is good, so it is good to me, that, that kind of... The, that's the kind of translation, if you would translate it word to word. But for it to make sense, I think that we should translate it as I feel good. So in English, an equivalent for мне хорошо would be I feel good. It's like you're on the beach, there's sun shining down, you're laying down, sunbathing, and you say мне хорошо, мне хорошо. That kind of, that kind of мне хорошо, okay? The second one is мне плохо. So it's the opposite of мне хорошо, so it must be I feel bad. But in Russian, we mostly use it when we describe our physical state. So it's like when you don't feel good, meaning you are fit, you feel sick, your stomach hurts, your head hurts, or something like that. So it's not, it's not, uh, feel, it's not I feel bad when it comes to I, I regret something, that I, uh, that I did something, and I'm like... Uh, I feel bad for that. No, it's like I feel bad physically. So, мне плохо is um, I feel bad physically. I feel sick. 
And the last one is мне грустно. Мне грустно is I am sad. I am sad. Or it's like it's it's sad to me. But if you're gonna be logical and for it to make sense, we should say I am sad. As you notice, there is no male or female form. It's just all the same for masculine or feminine. So whether you're guy or girl, you can just say мне хорошо, мне плохо, and мне грустно. And that's it, guys. Uh, it wasn't that hard, was it? So it's like the same sentences, seven sentences that are going to be really helpful for you, I think. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you, what you want me to, to talk about in the future videos. In the comments down below, please. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Пока-пока.